Okay guys, this is a perfect opportunity to test my mic. I'm in the airport right now and there's a lot of people around me and so I don't want to talk that loud. I tested the mic out a few minutes ago and I think it works pretty, pretty good. Guys, today's the day. Today's finally the day. I am so excited. Like the second I stepped into LAX, I felt like a new person. Like I literally, I was like, I'm home. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of the few people on this planet that doesn't hate LAX. I love LAX. Like I literally, I get energy from going into LAX. Oh, there's people looking at me, but I don't care. I need to get used to it because I refuse to let another trip to Korea pass me by without me properly documenting it. This is gonna be my fourth trip to Korea and I've been wanting to vlog it. I just didn't do it because I was too shy. I was not prepared. Oh, there are people perceiving me. It's okay, they're never gonna see me again. I took Delta Airlines for this trip because I love Delta and luckily, thankfully, Delta partners with Korean Air and me personally, I really, really like flying to Korea with Korean Air. I just feel like the entertainment that they have on board the food, the service, everything makes me feel like I'm already in Korea. It just makes me feel like the trip has started from the second that I got on the plane. In about an hour, we're gonna start boarding for Korean Air. I thought I was gonna be that girl that like read a book on the plane, maybe edited some YouTube footage. I'm gonna sleep, but I will try to show you guys as much as I can of what Korean Air is like. Let me show you guys the fit. Yes, I was going for idol airport fashion. I want to start romanticizing my life immediately. Okay, I'm done embarrassing myself and public i'm gonna go take a nap before it's time to board all right period let's go i'm boarding the flight to incheon i'm so excited y'all give me that food before the person who's sitting next to me shows up let me show you guys they give us a pillow i think these are masks actually i don't know what these are I have a water bottle headphones and i think these are blankets which i will definitely be using i'm really sensitive to the cold <laughs> luggage carts. In LAX, they charge you to use these carts. In Korea, it's free. The girl is in Korea. The second I got off that plane, I was like, yeah, yeah. The first thing I need to do is get a Wi-Fi. I don't know if I want to get a cube, which I usually do, or if I want to try to get a SIM card. So I'm going to figure that out now. When you're in Korea, as soon as you cross over customs, there's a bunch of booths that offer you Wi-Fi cubes and prepaid SIM cards. Wi-Fi cubes are basically these little portable devices that give you access to Wi-Fi, and it's really cheap. I also always make sure to get money when I arrive at the airport at the global ATM. Got my money, I got my Wi-Fi cube. I think I'm gonna catch the next bus. And the flight landed a lot earlier than I expected, so I'm actually early. Everything's going good so far. Okay, just kidding, I missed the bus. <laughs> Cause I had to figure out the exact stop that I was going to and I needed help from an agent, so I needed to go to the desk and that took a while. So I decided to get some dumplings. This was only 5,000 won. I love dumplings, I love dumplings. I need to feel instantly happy and thankful for life is dumplings. of my solo trip to Korea. I feel like that's how I'm gonna be promoting this online. Like, I took a solo trip to Korea. But the ironic thing is, I'm actually meeting a bunch of friends today. The first thing is, I'm meeting up with Casey right now at, I think she's at Kwangya, which is apparently the SM shop under the SM building. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm going there now, and after that, we're gonna go to a bunch of Jimin birthday pop-ups. Because today's October 14th. Jimin's birthday was yesterday. If you watch my Twice in LA vlog, Casey's the one that I went with. Then at night, I am gonna meet up with with my friend Subin and MB. If all goes well, we're gonna get fried chicken at the Han River, which I've always wanted to do. I'm so excited. Tell me why I just got Kimba and I'm listening to Ego. Why do I feel like crying? It's delicious. I'm 
so happy to be here, not just because of Jimin, but because I'm here with friends. Yes. Comes with a oh, little photo cards, a little pamphlet, and I got a peached iced tea. I have a little tower of cupcakes for him. I mean, they're fake, but they're still cute. And little presents. Walking around the cafe, wanted to show you guys a little my oh, this is my fit for today. It's not too cold, so I feel pretty comfortable right now, even though I'm wearing shorts. I saw these two girls walking around the cafe shamelessly with these big old tripods, and I was like, you know what? That's the kind of energy I need to have on this trip. So right now I have my mic out, I have my phone on the tripod, and I am literally talking to you guys in front of everybody in this cafe. No one is paying attention to me, and it's great. No one cares. Do what you want to do. There's also an exhibit down here, you guys. Aww. Wow, what a throwback. Throwback. If you were an army when these photos were taken, you know. being purple-blooded. It's kind of dark, but finally I'm showing your face on camera. <laughs> Casey's here for a freaking month. She got here last week. <laughs> yeah, I am. Three weeks And I'm just here for 10 days. We're gonna get ramen. Is it all spicy? This one's not that spicy, but I don't know your spice level, so I can't handle spice. You think like at all? all? Spicy? Yeah. Do you think these are all spicy? Yeah. <laughs> so you can like change that powder. Yeah, this one's not spicy. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, the food. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that never saw the light of day. <laughs> no, I want to show my friends, but usually they don't want to be on camera, so. I'm shy. <laughs> that was a really good time. But now I'm kind of rushing back to the subway because basically I'm trying to get back home before the subways close. Because in Korea, the subway lines stop running at 12 a.m. and I think they start running again at 5 a.m. So it's like 11.20ish right now, almost 11.30. So I really want to make sure I get on that train on time. Walking alone in Korea, I feel pretty freaking safe. Almost midnight right now, I'm on the streets walking by myself and I feel fine. Also, yes, I hung out with a lot of people today, but I also feel like I did a really good job of navigating Seoul on my own today. Tomorrow though, I'm really on my own. I only have a hair appointment booked in the morning, and after that, I basically have the rest of the day free, and I haven't even really thought about what I wanna do. Maybe I'll check out Hongdae, maybe I'll go back to Myeongdong, but I've done those two things, it's, I feel like those are two very common places for tourists to visit. It's also very like shopping heavy, very food heavy. I'll figure it out. I will say, I have a feeling it'll actually be easier to vlog when I'm by myself. Just because, thankfully, I know the people that I was with today, for the most part, are very comfortable being on camera. When I was with Casey, a lot of her friends were with us, and I was meeting a lot of them for the first time, and so I didn't want to put them on the spot and ask them to be on camera. But also, even with friends that I am comfortable with, sometimes it's like, if you're catching up because you haven't seen each other in a long time, you don't really want to just have the camera out all the time. You kind of just want to talk, you know? And that's what we did at the Han River. I had so 
much fun talking with Nbi and Subin and meeting Subin's friend Charity. I had a really good time. I'm happy that I finally crossed something off my bucket list like that in Seoul. I've always wanted to have fried chicken by the river. And we did that today, girls. Today, your girl's gonna get her hair done. I'm going back to the salon where I first got my purple streaks done last year in Korea. I'm gonna get a haircut, get the purple roots re-bleached, re, re dyed It's a lot cheaper here than in the US. Look, there's still a Jimin Day sign here. The salon that I'm going to today is CCA Hair in Hongdae. It's foreigner friendly, so I'm able to communicate with them in English, and they were able to understand what I wanted to do to my hair last year really well, so we're back. the most of getting my hair done here so I really let the color fade and you can see how bad like look at the discoloration here from the bleach and also this is what my tips look like so bad we're gonna get the purple back I did ask about getting pink because I've been considering changing my purple streaks to pink but I'm not ready yet I feel like a few months from now maybe <laughs> when my roots are retouched because I just feel like it makes such a difference in how the haircut looks. I also got my bangs trimmed. I'm not gonna lie to you, I feel like they look kind of crooked. I tried to fix it, but I'm so exhausted and hungry. I'm out of here. I'm gonna be so freaking honest with you guys. I'm exhausted. I feel like passing out. I feel like disassociating, but I am starving. And so actually last year, this place right in front of the hair salon was already closed. And it just caught my eye because it says Korean cuisine and dining and I was like period I want Korean food I just was like dang I really wish I would have been able to try that place and because it's still open now I think I'm gonna check it out I went up and apparently they're only doing reservations so I was like oh okay that's great so now I'm just gonna go find another place to eat before I pass out I guess this is an opportunity to show you how pretty Hongdae is though there's a lot of food there's a lot of cafes like look this one here better date cafe looks really cute I might try to come back But in the meantime, I am gonna get a little bit of street food. It's so good. Like I found these tofu pancakes. Does that not look delicious? Mine is cooking right now. Maybe I wanna shop. Maybe. Oh, that. This. Tell me this is not the most young outfit you've ever seen. Oh my god, wait. I want that outfit. Whoa. crazy but okay her i want her i love bulgogi patties at least i think i do i've only had it once but i love bulgogi can i please try the bulgogi burger i'm gonna push it down because i saw someone else doing that and i was like that's so smart a lot of them look like really fat burgers the cajun fries look delicious Guys, before the day ends, let me show you my outfit. I wanted to wear something really casual and comfortable since I was going to be sitting in a salon chair in the morning. And I thought I was going to come back at night, but as you saw, that took all day. So this is what I wore. It's one of my favorite maxi skirts with a black turtleneck. And I actually got these boots in Korea last year when I came. It's one of those outfits that sometimes feels a little bit too casual for my liking, but at the same time... She's kind of cute. Of course, the closing clip got deleted. So here's me to tell you guys thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my first few days in Korea. I still got so much more to show you in the upcoming vlogs. So make sure to subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any questions about traveling to Korea. Thank you again. I'll see you guys in the next one.